Well, hello, Guardians. It is Ebontis here, April 17th, and we are going to do the Cade Stash video on IO. So, we've got five pretty reasonable ones to get to. So, the first one, you're going to come down here to the Rupture, and it's the one that starts with, when I was caught in that Vex teleporter, I would win end up in weird places. So, this first one we're going to go to, it's actually one I probably haven't seen in a while. And then these final four, what we're actually going to do is make one giant loop. So, we're going to start down here in Giant Scar, hit this one. Make a U-turn, drive by this one, and then come to these last two. So there's going to be a couple couple backtracking sections, but so you don't have to keep loading and you kind of just go in one solid flow. We'll do these last four together. But starting for the rupture, we're going to start here. And what you want to do is head like you're going to the Pyramidian. Kind of like you've seen the one, if you have seen it before, that's way down here, kind of out in nothing across the bridge. Same direction, but just not quite as far. So jump on your Sparrow to get started. Head out here, and we'll head on around. Pretty much going outside the Pyramidian area, the big giant thing off to my right. And then you're looking for basically where this, where my cursor is, where this kind of thing travels down into the world. Uh, you're looking to follow it. Kind of right back into this little dome. So if you guys want to see it, it's right over here. That's where you'll see kind of this dome-shaped entrance. If you follow the end of the Pyramidian strike all the way down to the ground, You'll see this one over here. So, head on down in real quick. And it's honestly not that far in. It's actually right up there up top. So, you can just jump up to this pillar first. And then if you want to, or you can jump up on any of these. And then just float on over. So this is number one. And we'll hit the other four together. So let's go head over to Giant Scar. And we'll go from there. Alright Guardians, once you've loaded into Giant Scar, we're going to head to grab this one quick and then we're come, going to come all the way through here and make one giant U-turn. So we're going to come back and hit this one. We're going to go past where we would head for this one in the mines. Uh, go a little past Terra Base Drone and then finally dive into the mines so you don't have to backtrack really too far. Hopefully it makes sense as we go. So first we're going to hit the, hit this one. The lead I got from Asher was some Scion was see, seen making off somewhere in the Echo Mesa. So when you load in, you're kind of facing this direction towards this Cabal. Turn to your right and just kind of shoot your Sparrow off the cliff and make a big U-turn. Probably seen this one before. It's pretty common. It's over here on these two, whatever you want to call like gates. And just run straight up this ramp. And here's number two. So... Go back down where you came, jump back on your Sparrow, and we're going to go for a bit of a drive. Again, I do hope you guys enjoy these videos. They're helpful to those who are looking for it. I've seen exotics. I've seen faction items come from these. So not very common, but occasionally they're an easy thing to pick up. So I kind of figure why not? So I'll show you where they're at. But keep on driving through this area. Hang to the left over here. I typically don't go over here, but it is all connected, of course, as Destiny maps tend to be. And follow the road on through. You want to get back, back into this more mechanical cabal area with these tunnels. Keep driving through. And you're almost going to dead end straight into it if you keep going straight. So you guys can see it. It is right over here is number three. So number three. We've made it back over here way back in this archway. So this says, okay, another live action report here. So this is number three. We're going to go on past four. And then we're going to come back to it. So we're going to drive on through. Keep going. And so now you're in the Terra base. You're going to drive all the way through the base to the other side. Just make it a straight shot if you can. If you're looking for a good way to hit it, try and hit this ramp. So you just go straight through without having to worry about too many enemies. And then come back over here. So this one will be right when you come around this full U-turn. It's up here on a cliff. So if you're coming from the other side, you'd typically be coming from over there. But as we did our U-turn, this is number four. So number five, we're going to head back into Terra Base, skip the enemies, but we're going to go basically do in the, um, what you'd call the north side of Terra Base. So come in here to the left, jump off your Sparrow, and then work your way up to this platform here. You're going to have some taken. Just skip right by them if you can. Again, if you can. But run on through, and we're going to head back into this area. So I head down through, jump over the garbage there pretty much work your way through this whole area so into the wraith mines we're going to go a decent ways and this one is going to be actually in the top so you're going to see this drill and it's actually above you so what you need to do is just make a full circle so you can get basically above where you're at so follow me you don't have to kill any of these guys unless you just so desire you can skip all this stuff just 
float, jump on over, whatever you desire to do. If you want to shoot them, go for it, but it's not required. So you're going to pass through here. I typically like to jump up to this one, maybe shoot this one guy in the face, and then keep going. Of course, that charging effect is in effect, so my screen looks crazy, but it looks cool while you run. Then finally, once you get up here, you're getting closer. You're looking to go basically catty corner through this area, kind of out this back door. Keep running. It's a bit of a run. This is why I did this one last, because once you're buried all the way in here, you don't want to do it again. So once you come out up here, you're basically at the top of the drill that you were looking at before. That's way over there. So now that you're at the top, you can actually see that it's over there. Best way that I've found to get there, come up on this platform. Make sure you don't fall. If you're worried about dying, you can shoot a couple enemies. And then however you can get there, if you hunter jump down and float over, however you want to get over here, it's up to you. But this is number five. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like down below. Leave me a comment if you got any questions. Hopefully you guys enjoy Iron Banner this week. Nightfall Solo will be my next attempt as well. So I'll be looking to do that one probably tomorrow night, maybe, just depending on work. I've got some little bit of Monster Hunter stuff I want to do before an event changes over. Uh, but outside of that, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening to all of you guys around the world. Thank you again for the support. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that alert bell so you guys know when those new videos come out. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.